This week, kids across the country will exchange Valentine's Day cards. And one New Jersey teacher is trying to make the process more fair by asking kids to bring the same generic card for everyone in the class. That way, there'll be no Charlie Browns. She's handing Valentine's out to all her friends. She's handing them out one by one. She's handing them out. She's still handing them out. Now she's all done. That was the last one. Now she's walking away. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, so sad. We're here to debate that. Parenting expert and blogger Jessica Gottlieb alongside author and blogger Elizabeth Esther. Welcome to both of you. So is it such a bad thing if every child gets a Valentine's Day card, Elizabeth? It's not a bad thing. I think that it's a little bit unnecessary. It's a one-size-fits-all approach. I mean, especially when you're having to give out the exact same one. I mean, Valentine's Day is about expressing your unique, heartfelt feelings for your special loved one. Um, to like just robotically hand out, here's your Valentine. Here's your Valentine. Like, what are we? Like, it totally removes the meaning, the special memory for the kids. I, you can't make life 100% fair and. Why not let them experience a little bit of that, like, wow, okay, while they're young, while the stakes are low, rather than, you know, they're 20 years old and they're still expecting everyone to give them a Valentine's? I don't know. It just, it just seems, I understand the intention is good, but it's impractical, and it ends up blowing up. I mean, the kids feel like the kids who wouldn't have gotten a Valentine, so to speak, they're getting a pity Valentine now. I mean, how, that doesn't feel any better. Jessica, what's your reaction to that? Oh, I'm sure that it does feel better. And the kids that wouldn't get a Valentine, believe me, they experience plenty of rejection day in and day out. There's absolutely no reason to be excluding them. And I, I find it suspect, too. It's like, I wonder, you know, when your kid is celebrating their birthday and you bring in cupcakes for the class, do you only bring them in for, like, the six kids they like the most? Sure, if it's a class participation, then, is, is exclusion far worse than, than inclusion? Let me broaden this. I mean, teachers and educators down the road are facing kindness issues when it comes to Facebook. Is it wrong to teach kids to reach out um, to everyone in the class with some kindness in a card when they're five? Elizabeth? Well, I, don't, I, I think the idea behind it is good. I just think that it's... This, there's a difference between Valentine's Day and birthdays. I mean, when you're celebrating a birthday, it's an inclusive, everyone participates and you're giving it to everyone, you know. But for Valentine's Day, I mean, I don't have 8 million Valentines. I have one special Valentine, my husband. I don't, you know, give out cards to everyone. And I give it to my girlfriends. My twins are in kindergarten. They don't even want to give Valentines to the icky, squicky boys. Like, they, they want to just give it to a couple of their girlfriends. If they had to bring in, like, a generic, unpersonal, impersonal Valentine, it would completely completely ruin the feeling for them. They want to personalize it. They want to decorate it and write their name. And this is from me to you. And it's this memory. I mean, there's just, you destroy it when, when you make it this robotic, mechanized thing. But that's on, the, that's on the sending side. So on the receiving side, though, um, Jessica, what do you think about a child who's five not receiving a Valentine because maybe they weren't someone's favorite? What's the effect there? I, I, it would be insanely cruel to me. And the, the other thing is, too, is that, you know, my mom was a school teacher, and she started teaching in the 60s, and she looked at this note and was like, you know what, this is how we did things in 1965. There's something about, you know, kindergarten is a little bit like herding cats. And so, you know, to ask a bunch of five-year-olds who don't necessarily all read, because they are kind of on a spectrum there, to be able to spell all their classmates' names, to be able to assign some kind of meaning to this is really, I think, overreaching what can happen in the kindergarten classroom. Jessica and Elizabeth, I want to thank you both for being here. I'm glad they come in packs of 28 with the two teacher included cards here. I'll send you both one, just to be fair. <laughs> See you later. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Coming up.